Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Acts chapter 5, beginning at verse 17 and ending at verse 32. This is the amplified version. Imprisonment and release. But the high priest stood up along with all his associates, that is, the sect of the Sadducees, and they were filled with jealousy and resentment. They arrested the apostles and put them in a public jail. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors, and leading them out, he said, Go, stand and continue to tell the people in the temple courtyards the whole message of this life, eternal life revealed by Christ and found through faith in him. When they heard this, they went into the temple courtyards about daybreak and began teaching. Now when the high priest and his associates arrived, they called together the council, Sanhedrin, Jewish high court, even all the council of elders of the sons of Israel, and sent word to the prison for the apostles to be brought before them. But when the officers arrived, they did not find them in the prison, and they came back and reported, We found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors. But when we opened the doors, we found no one inside. Now when the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard these things, they were greatly perplexed, wondering what would come of this. But someone came and told them, The men whom you put in prison are standing right here in the temple area, teaching the people. Then the captain went with the officers and brought them back without hurting them, because they were afraid of the people, worried that they might be stoned. So they brought them and presented them before the council, Sanhedrin, Jewish high court. The high priest questioned them, saying, We gave you strict orders not to continue teaching in this name, and yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood on us by accusing us as his murderers. Then Peter and the apostles replied, We must obey God rather than men. We have no other choice. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you had put to death by hanging him on a cross, and you are responsible. God exalted him to his right hand as prince and savior and deliverer in order to grant repentance to Israel and to grant forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has bestowed on those who obey him. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.